The Africa security landscape is very, very complex. If we ignore opportunities to build enduring peace across the African continent, we'll continue fighting many wars for the longest time. One of the most common uh, challenges that African security leaders are facing is the issue of military professionalism. And uh, with that, they're often confronted with uh, legacies of embedded corruption within their institutions. With the rising threat of uh, extremism in some parts of Africa uh, and the role that African militaries are playing in trying to push back that threat and, and to counter it, and citizens see their militaries as actually trying to protect them in some way, that's a big transformation in many African societies where militaries have more traditionally been there for regime protection rather than for citizens' own security. We go beyond the threats of today be they poverty or extremism, and look at the important questions that uh, we need to tackle if we're to make a lasting impact in Africa's security environment. The Africa Center is a forum for the sharing of ideas about Africa's security issues. And in that process, it helps to build bridges between Africans and, and, and Americans and others care, caring about uh, Africa security. So on the one hand, the center has specific programs for very senior flag officers, generals, senior colonels, uh, who are at the strategic level and who are advisors to the governments who are operating in their respective countries at the strategic level. The Africa Center has also targeted some of its programs towards mid-level officers, uh, the lieutenant colonels, the majors, the experienced captains who are still commanding troops, who uh, oftentimes find themselves in operational duties. We realize that the real experts and the ones who know the issues uh, better than anyone are the African participants themselves. So what we try to do is do the research, evidence-based analysis, and tee up these issues, the important security challenges on the continent, and then get the Africans to discuss them and work among themselves to try to develop solutions and policy and practice that can address some of these challenges on the continent. Having African authors of our research publications is important um, because the lessons that they have to share uh, are valuable in themselves. We actually deployed to the African continent to conduct a seminar and a serious um, violent conflict issue broke out in a sub-region and um, without missing a beat heads of state, heads of institution, ministerial um, delegations agreed to host uh, peace support, peacemaking, peacekeeping conversation at an Africa Center conference. I think that is unprecedented. Um, we have a really uh, dynamic uh, group of uh, alumni uh, leaders on the continent. Um, we organize them through alumni chapters. You know, we call them Africa Center Community Chapters on the continent. They are um, self-organized uh, in their countries. I came here in 2007 and I had a chance to participate in the course in the next generation. Six months after, I was appointed a Minister of Security in my country. I had the opportunity to implement all what I've learned here and it was great for me. It was really rewarding. So it has helped me to, to do my work because currently I'm in uh, 
charge of the women affairs. Anything concerning women in the Uganda military, it's me who is concerned with it. And uh, I learned a lot from that workshop I attended here at the center. We can cite a number of former participants in ACSS programs who've really made a difference in their countries by um, sticking to the constitutional rules of the military and refusing um, to undermine civilian institutions. There's one case where uh, a senior officer was told that um, he needed to reverse the constitutional order of access to power and he said no. And he had participated in ACSS programs where the whole issue of uh, military coups was discussed as something that shouldn't happen in modern nation states. Uh, we've uh, put together several programs where we brought together uh, many of the key players in the security, in the maritime security domain in Africa. And uh, as a result, on the west coast of Africa, you have a whole complete strategic architecture that goes all the way from Senegal in the north to Angola in the south, bringing together two regional economic communities. And now they are working together to address maritime security challenges that are common to that particular region. Across the African continent, um, there's consensus that uh, the Africa Center is one of the trusted interlocutors, not just on a US to Africa basis, but also across the African continent.